The letter arrived on a gloomy Tuesday afternoon, bearing news that would alter Jonathan Wainwright's life forever. His distant relative, a great uncle he had scarcely heard of, had passed away, leaving behind an imposing mansion that stood shrouded in mystery on the outskirts of town. The news of the inheritance both intrigued and unnerved Jonathan, as tales of his family's estranged history had been whispered about for generations. As Jonathan approached the mansion, the air grew heavy with an ominous stillness. The grandiose facade loomed against the gray sky, its once majestic features now weathered by time and neglect. The wrought iron gates creaked open, welcoming him into the shadowy embrace of the estate. Upon entering, a chill ran down Jonathan's spine, as if the mansion itself exhaled a long-held breath. Dust-covered furniture, draped in tattered sheets, stood frozen in time. The air was thick with a haunting silence, broken only by the distant echo of footsteps that seemed to resonate from unseen corridors. Undeterred, Jonathan set out to explore the mansion's secrets. The grand staircase, adorned with a faded crimson carpet, groaned beneath his weight as he ascended to the upper floors. Each room he entered unveiled a forgotten tale, a portrait-covered gallery, a desolate library, and a ballroom with an ancient grand piano whose notes seemed to linger in the air. As night fell, the mansion awakened with a spectral energy. Flickering candles cast dancing shadows on the walls, and the creaking floorboards echoed with unseen footsteps. Jonathan, now unsettled, sought solace in the study, where he discovered a collection of weathered journals penned by his enigmatic great-uncle. The journals chronicled a tragic tale of lost love, betrayal, and a pact made with forces beyond mortal understanding. Jonathan's great uncle, driven by grief and desperation, had sought to mend his shattered life through dark rituals that promised eternal companionship. The mansion, it seemed, was now a vessel for the lingering spirits bound by this unholy pact. As the clock struck midnight, the mansion came alive with a spectral symphony. Whispers echoed through the corridors, and ethereal figures glided across the ballroom floor. Jonathan, frozen in fear, watched as the past unfolded before him, an apparition of his great uncle, trapped in a perpetual waltz with a ghostly companion. Haunted by the tragic tale, Jonathan decided to confront the spirits that lingered within the mansion. Armed with ancient incantations he discovered in the journals, he ventured into the heart of the haunting. The atmosphere grew tense as he chanted the incantations, the words resonating with a supernatural power that filled the mansion. Suddenly, the spectral figures ceased their waltz, their hollow eyes fixating on Jonathan. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy as the spirits began to dissipate their anguished murmurs fading into the silence of the mansion. As the last specter vanished, the mansion seemed to exhale, releasing the weight of centuries of sorrow. The oppressive stillness lifted, and a gentle breeze swept through the corridors, carrying with it a sense of peace. In the following days, the mansion underwent a transformation. The faded grandeur was replaced by a newfound vitality as sunlight streamed through once darkened windows. The air, once heavy with sorrow, now felt rejuvenated. Jonathan, having broken the curse that bound the spirits, made the decision to restore the mansion to its former glory. As the renovations progressed, the town whispered tales of the men who confronted the supernatural and emerged victorious. The mansion, now free from the shackles of its haunted past, stood as a testament to Jonathan's courage. However, as he gazed at the refurbished grand staircase, he couldn't shake the feeling that some tales, no matter how meticulously buried, could never be fully laid to rest. The mansion, 
with its newfound serenity, held its secrets close, whispering echoes of a bygone era to those who dared to listen.